to welcome everybody to this uh, special training on livestock feed formulation and compounding and it's seriously my prayer to have you um, on this special call like seriously i've been trying to do this for almost a month now or even more than a month but due to a little problem on my system and the software i'm using I was unable to produce it and I must tell you it's really really paining but all glory to God because um, I would be giving you everything about this a uh, um, feed formulation today um you're going to be a live session with me um by the name I'm um, Adewale Adem Louis I run adverse technologies um, as I goes, as we move on in this video, it will be no more about me. Well, getting back to the business, um, a lot of livestock farmers, I must tell you, have been seriously complaining about the increment in the price of feed every blessed day. And I must tell you, if you have, if you want to be successful in this field of farming or a good business, you must have this skill. That is, how you're going to produce your edi, your own eddy balance feed for your livestock is very, very important. This is the secret that most of the successful farmers in Niger, uh, farmers in Nigeria are using. Like seriously, move closer to them, ask them. They will tell you this is only one secret that they they have. Now, you as a small, medium family owner, so if you can also apply these same skills. Um, this same method into, into your business, I must confess, you'll be making a lot of profit. Instead of you spending millions of naira to buy um, finished feed, you can be using that money to manage your business, even expand your farm products as well. So that just um, before we move further, um, like two or three days ago, a man called me. He has to me his experience concerning the um, livestock feed like we are discussing I must tell you this thing is now becoming um, a very serious issue even in West Africa I do receive calls from Kenya messages from them most of the time that even Cameroon as well as Ghana I must tell you it's general mostly in West Africa people are seriously facing this challenges so I just look okay fine let's take this one time out and solve this problem together so that's why I'm presenting you this um, video and I want to welcome everyone watching this video live now so before we move on let us quickly see what we are going to learn in this uh, video because I don't want it to be very lengthy um, I don't want it to take much of our time so What you will learn, you will know little about me. Mm, the major part of me that really concerns uh, feed formulation. Um, the reason why we are where we are here, we are going to know is introduction to livestock feed. That is introduction to local feed formulation and production. Um, benefit of self feed production. That is, a lot of people so much believe in using finished feed. There is nothing bad in it if you seriously have the money. Yes, if you know you have the money, you can go on be using it. But if you are starting out at a very on a very small scale, uh, I must tell you, having this skill is very very vital. It's very very important to the success of your business. I need livestock farming is very very important. That is. <clears throat> The next one, after the benefit of the self feed production, we are going to look at the common feed ingredients. Most of the people do call me as well. They ask, what are the things I can mix together to give my animal to have a very big egg to produce this and blah, blah, and so on. So we are going to see this um, in this video. Then method of feed formulation. This is where I want you to pay a very good attention because this is the point that we are going to be doing the formulation then the formulas this is where we're going to be derive everything then the recommendation at the end of this uh, video training i'm going to introduce to you a special course that can further your training in feed formulation so without wasting much of our time let us go into the course right away 
Then, um, a little bit about me. Like I said earlier, my name is Adewale Ademiluye, and I own and run Adverse Technologies and Green Crops Nigeria Limited, both registered. And by the special grace of God, um, before the middle or let's say before we get to the month of August, August by the special grace of God, I'll be having a new name. Um, where these two will be under that big name. We are working on it presently. But for now, I run Advanced Technologies and Green Cross Nigeria Limited. Advanced Technology deals with technologies such as marketing, web design, and also on application design, also on. But why Green Cross is all about agribusiness? We discuss export business. Uh, livestock farming, the one we are, and, and so on, just like that. Then, um, I do is also an agribusiness consultant. I'm also a farmer, yes, a crop produce, uh, production as well as a livestock farmer. Investor, yes, I do invest my money, yes, just in the agribusiness that's going to bring me more money. I do invest. And like I said, I'm also an exporter with over six years of solid experience. Yes, I've been doing that for over six years now. I'm also a speaker. You can organize a seminar in your area and you call me to come and do the speaking. There's no problem about that. You will see my number at the end of this uh, video. Then some people do say, okay, if you want to add me on Facebook, all you just have to do is just type down the, the link on the screen that is fb.com forward slash adverse tech um, by the special grace of god you'll be taken to my page directly without any error so that's just it that's a little about me if you want to know more about me you can simply go to google then you type adewali ademilui igbalaye into the google that's my name i'm very sure uh, google is going to give you everything about me or better still you can have me on facebook and ask me more questions so, like I said, why we are here? We are here for a reason, for something very important to our business. Like I said here, we're here today to solve one of the biggest challenges encountered by the livestock farmers in Nigeria and Africa at large. You see, um, very painful, that little message you, are you can see, Kenya livestock farmers and feed issues was sent to me a um, few days ago as an email. You see, when people started talking online, like some people want me to come to Kenya. Uh, no, it's not possible for now. <laughs> I'm not even through with Nigeria. So it's not, but people can, you can get my materials over there. And I'm very sure you are going to learn everything. Then we, I have online training for this. So we get us together and solve these um, big challenges together. And on the other side, I have, and I'll show you the step-by-step -step guide to livestock feed formulation and confounding using the right formula. So these are the reasons why we are here today to solve these challenges together, to make sure that we don't encounter this kind of problem again. And the only way you can solve it is just to pay attention to this video. So that's it all about the reason why we are here. Now, introduction to feed formulation. And I want you to pay a very close attention now because we are getting to the video right now. So there's no more time to waste. Like I said, feed formulation is a process of quantifying the amount of feed ingredients that need to be combined to form a single uniform mixture that is the diet for the livestock that supplies all of the nutrient requirement now let me put it together in a way that you will understand it feed formulation is the process that is the heart of quantifying the amount of feed ingredients now that's why i just i i not make those words to be bolded so that you can see the major the key point in that definition that is the art or the process of quantifying the amount of feed ingredients that is the available feed ingredient that need to be combined together that th these are the ingredients these are the materials that will be mixing together will be combined together to form a single uniform mixture that is maybe you combine soya beans with other materials so when you mix them together you're mixing them together to form what a diet that is a uniform mixture now it is this diet you're producing this diet for your livestock so that to supply them the required nutrients. 
So that is just a definition for fit formulation, nothing more. That is, fit formulation is the process or heart of quantifying the amount of feed ingredients that need to be combined to form a single uniform mixture, that is diet, for livestock that supplies all of their nutrient requirements. Now, that's it for the definition. Now, when we're talking of feed formulation, local feed formulation, self feed production and animal, and so on, blah, 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 what are the things that you need to consider? Because some people will just say, okay, um, I have little knowledge about this. All I have to do is combine this with that and form my, yes, it's possible, but you need to consider something. You don't know, say, okay, because you have a very little knowledge about it. What? Um, I was on a forum, a guy was like, all you need to do to formulate feed is just get this, get that, and before you know it, you'll be missing. No, it doesn't work out that way any longer. Because one, you need to know the nutritional requirements of the animal. That's number one thing. This is very, very important. Yes, because if you don't know the nutritional requirement, you are missing for nothing. And if there is not taking, you might be giving your livestock, you might be giving your animal what's going to be harmful to them. Are you getting now? So you must know the nutritional requirement of your target animal. That's number one. Number two, the availability of the feed ingredient. Don't don't forget that in our definition, we said feed formulation is the process or heart of quantifying the amount of feed ingredient. That is, before you consider missing uh, feed ingredient together, you must know the availability, availability of the ingredient that is the type of in ingredient that you have that is available before you say okay this is what uh -huh. that's number two number one nutritional requirement number two the feed ingredient then number three the animal type and age this is very very important as well now before you uh, also you know the nutritional requirement why you want to know the type of animal you are you are producing that feed for is it fingerlings juveniles or hard dot fishes is it broiler starter and also on just like that are you getting now you want to know the type as well as the age so it is it that okay when i miss this with that it gave me this and it will be suitable for my animal it won't harm them sure so you understand so that's why that's why you see most of the time when we just go to market and buy any any our feed when you give to this animal they started misbehaving at times you don't discover you discover that in your health production there is a very reduced the number that is the number those those vets are giving to you are totally are drastically reduced at times feed the feeding the type of feeding you are giving to them contributes a lot to it to that then the number four thing on the screen that it needs to be considered when you try to formulate your own feed is the probability of the our palatability of the available ingredient so it is very very important as well so you need to master this four so how do you put this four together to form feed so those are the things that um we are going to be looking at in the next slide that is the nutritional requirement feed feed in greater availability the type and age of the animal of our target animal as well as the palat palatability of the available ingredients so these are the things you need to be set aside you need to know them first before you even consider formulating uh, formulating any feed okay. you must put all these things into consideration so let's see now on the next slide we have something about benefits of on farm that's when i say on farm i mean safe or local feed production now what are the benefits why can't i just continue using my money to buy finished feed instead of passing through all the stress are you getting now? I'm just someone that says, oh, well, if I can still buy um a bag of feed at the rate of 10,000 naira, nothing costs me. Well, it all depends on your budget at times. Now, you cannot compare a farmer who is just rearing on a small scale with someone who is feed, spending at, feeding at the 15,000 pieces of catfish. Or on a farm where they are using close to 300 bags of feed per week. You will know. So, coming down to the livestock is going to have a lot, a lot of benefit on your family. That you are starting small or on a very large scale, it's going to have a very good result. Now, the benefit number one here is the reduction, of course, of animal production. <clears throat> when you see some people that say, "Okay, I can see a kilo 
of catfish at the rate of 750 or 800 naira. Ask them what is their secret. You will discover that they are using local feed. That is, when you are using this type of feed, you will reduce the amount of money spending on the cost of production. I won't lie to you. That's why you see that most of these people make serious money. That's why they tell you that livestock farming is more profitable. But they don't tell you the real secret. They, ju they just tell you the sweet, the sweeter part of it. Reduction of cost of animal production. That's only happen when you are using on-farm or local feed production. That is it. Number two, adequate and banal feed for your animals. You will never run out of feed anytime. Are you getting now? Because you are in the control of what to give to your animals. You are the one producing it. Like I said earlier in the last slide, I told you, you already know the nutritional requirements, the type and the age of your target animal, the palatability and the feed ingredient available. So you will know how to give them the balanced diet always. So that's why you see most of the people when they come to on Facebook, they show you a very big fish. Yes, it's very, very achievable. This is most what this uh, what most of them are using the local and non farm, but they will never tell you yes. Um, I don't blame them if they don't tell you because you never ask. So that's just it. Then number three, access to fresh feed always. That's one thing I love it about it. I don't have to face any disappointment. Yes, I don't have to wait for any distributor before I see something to feed my animals. Since I'm the one producing it myself, I will always have access to fresh feed every blessed day of my life so that's it number four feed always available for your animals like i said earlier you will never run out of feed sure you get it now if we, if you are feeding like 500 like uh, fifteen thousand pieces of a catfish or whatever you will never run out of feed in as much you are for this thing ready number five self feed formulation means more profit like i said if you see heading from our boasting that okay i can still sell my product at this rate it pays me yes that means it's using something like this because when you are buying a bag of feed at the rate of maybe 10 or 11 thousand naira um being in the uh, in the market now you want to be okay i have to make my own money i have to make my profit you'll be thinking of the money you've already spent on on the animals how to pay the, your workers and all these things you know all the money are coming from this the same patients we're talking about but if you are using self feed from if you are using self formulated feed i'm very sure you will still make your own profit out of it now you will escape the present hike <laughs> um there will be no reason for you to be paying all these sugar breaking fee you and you will never be working for either milers or the feed distributor i can continue go on and go on giving you the benefits of on-farm livestock feed uh, production but because of our time let's move on to the next um, show so that uh, we can do the, ma the major thing while we are here together <coughs> sorry so here we have common feed ingredient this is how it, it looks like um, like I said here no single feed ingredient can supply all of the nutrients and energy required for optimal growth of any animal so we are not here to deceive anybody no this is a life practical show and that is how it, that's how it's going to be um some people will say uh, i feed my um i feed maize to my poultry and they are eating well well it's very good the question is that means does it really supply the all the required nutrients so if you are to say it normally there is no single, I mean, no single feed ingredient that can supply all of the nutrients and energy required for optimal growth of any animal. It doesn't possible. Now, commercial livestock feed contains a mixture of feed stores and vitamin and mineral premises that pro provide adequate amounts of essential nutrients. That is it. So, for you to have all the required nutrients, the energy and the vitamin, you have to mix like two or more feed ingredients together to achieve this the amount of each if you, on the last page here the amount of each feed ingredient used depends on several factors like we said in the first slide nutrient requirement ingredient cost availability of each and processing characters so and in the next slide we are going to be looking at each of these um 
common feed ingredients so and how you can use them feed ingredient and our feed ingredient in livestock feed production are basically grouped as follows we have energy source of carbohydrates uh, these are the ingredients that they give the supply carbohydrates that is energy we call them energy derived uh, feed ingredient example include maize cassava rice and so on most of the series anything that can give you energy so the group number two is protein source these are the group of these are the group of ingredients that supply protein to our animals uh, we have gnc that is granite cake uh, sbm soya bean meal fm fish meal chicken over blood meal robust sea meal and so on protein source are grouped into two yes most of people don't really know this when we're talking of they just talk about um protein uh, i just need something that can give my animal protein protein are grouped into two we have animal origin then as well as a plant origin so uh, we see how we, when we continue we see more on that um feed ingredient in livestock feed production uh, okay we also have mineral resources we discussed energy and uh, protein in the first slide now this is the second slide mineral sources mineral enable skeletal tissue development in livestock yes they also make up a good proportion of egg now if you are experiencing uh, a very kind of drop in your egg production i just want you to check this side that is the mineral you're giving to them just look more onto that minerals enable skeletal tissue development in livestock they also make up a good proportion of egg and sample include limestone seal shell oyster shell and so on vitamin source vitamin are organic compounds not synthesized in body but require in small amount with uh, they've taught all this in when we were in secondary school so you can go back to that so let's continue let's move on now methods of feed formulation now i think this is where we are going to this is where we need to pay a very close attention uh, i don't want us to miss anything here like i said i don't want this video to be much than 20 or 30 minutes i don't want to take much of our time so now method of feed formulation to be able to produce heading and balanced feed equal in quality to the factory processed feed what i mean by the equal in quality to the factory processed feed that is if you want to produce uh, a feed equal that is same thing as the one you buy same thing as the one you call finished feed same thing as one you call foreign feed you must have a good knowledge of the compounded feed plan that is you must have a very good knowledge of how to combine the feed ingredients together you must know how they work together to form a balanced feed this is what we call feed, feed formulation techniques or method that is how do you mix a with b to form a very balanced diet for your livestock now there are many techniques or method you can use to formulate feed we have like four or five but ever since i've been using this i always i prefer using these two that is the trial and method of formulation i will not be talking about the trial and error method of formulation here it's going to take much i mean much of our time if something but i do have it in my course and as well as i'm face to face i mean one-on-one -on -one training then number two you call it called boss method this is the simplest one ever it's the easiest and the simplest you can use it to produce feed for catfish as well as for poultry using two or more ingredients so let's see how a uh, boss method works to formulate heading and balanced feed for our livestock you are welcome once again like i have it here this is the simplest method of feed formulation simple sense of arithmetic ratio is what you need to use this method effectively you don't need to be a guru like seriously you don't have to be maybe you don't really need to be uh, a miler or maybe someone who has been farming for years before you can use it use this if as i will still give you the rules of piercings or box method we also call it square method but it's very very common to call it box method 
it has to rule. So it is this rule that you need to put into consideration to have your balance fit for you. Within, let's say, within 10 to 20 minutes, you will know the right formula to use to prepare any kind of feed you want to do. Either for catfish, for pig, for any type of animal in livestock farming. It's very simple and very easy to use. Just be watching me because I will break it down to you into pieces. So we are going to have everything in your fingertips. So I have the rules of box method. Now the rule number one. Number one thing you need to have at the center of your mind when you are trying to use this method is the box center number. When I say the box center number, you can see where I have my arrow here. I mean this place. Now I said target animal protein requirement. This number at the center represents the um, protein requirement that is nutritional requirement of your target animal. Now, if we are trying, if we are trying to produce feed or to formulate feed for cat uh, for fingerlings now, uh, we are going to put the target uh, nutritional requirement of that uh, fingerlings or juveniles or anything you might be targeting your own at the center of this place. Now, if you look at the bottom of this, I have that this number represents the nutritional requirement of an animal for a specific nutrient. It may be cool protein, TND, amino acid, mineral or vitamin, and it is usually written in percentage. You know, nutritional requirement always being in percentage. CP, that's what people usually call it. But it, we call it nutritional requirement. For example, for fingerlings, it usually be um, 45%. We have 20 25 and so on please do not use 20 and 25 if you are producing for fingerlings uh, try to have uh the right nutritional requirement i just use it as an example as you can use as you can see here yeah. so what i mean that the box center number usually be the number of the nutritional requirement of our target animal please do not forget and if you are asking me now the reason why we are calling it boss method is that most of the calculation, everything about it is done inside this box. And if you are to use this box, you must draw this. This is the first thing you need to draw. You draw the, the box first. You can use a piece of paper or whatever and a pen. If it's very simple, like I said, if you want to use the boxing method, number one thing you need to do is draw, as you can see now. You draw that box as you can see now you will now put the box center that is the center number the nutritional requirements of your target animal at the center of this place so that's rule number one that's the rule number one then the rule number two says disregard the negative results generated at times as I went through with the um, suppression, you will have negative value anywhere here. You just have to neglect it. It is not important. Here you understand. You will see how it goes. We have a life case study for this video where I show you everything. So we have a life case study. We are going to see how it happens. So just ignore or neglect the negative sign or negative value when you get your results here now like i have it below here disregard any negative numbers that are generated on the right side of the score be concerned only with the numerical differences between the nutrient requirements and the gradient nutrient values what i mean by that is they, like i said we, we usually have, we always have not usually we always have the nutrient requirement at the center why the ingredient uh, nutrient follow will be at the left hand side here now, the results after suppression will be at the right hand side of the box. You will see, see what I mean as we're moving on. Now, the rule number three says suppression must take place within the score. Now, <clears throat> for instance, now I have 14% here, which is the target number, or that is the nutritional requirement of my target animal. Now, I have my I percent um, ICP ingredient here, the low CP ingredient here. Now I'm going to subtract this ICP from this uh, 14. I will have my results here. Results from as you can see. 
Then I also take this low CP ingredient, subtract it from 14. I also have my result here. Now, subtract the nutrient value from nutritional requirement on the diagonal. Diagonal and arrive at the nu numerical value in that two parts. By summing those parts and dividing by the total, you can determine the percent of duration that each ingredient should represent in order to provide a specific nutrient value. You might not really understand this number as we're moving up. I'm very sure you are going to get everything clearly. So let's see a live case study of how it was. The rule number one again says um, the box center number. Like I said, the box center number is the, always the nutritional requirement of the target animal. Please don't forget because this is very, very important. Then um, number two says disregard the negative, that is ignore the negative value generated at the right hand side after you might have done all true with the suppression of everything. Now, suppression must take place within the square that is inside this square. Those, okay, maybe you have uh, 78 here, then you have 28 here or 10 here, then you want to supply this from this. No, it is not done that way. Everything must take place within, inside this square. That's why we call it box method. So let's see a live case study of how it happened. Like I said, so if you want to use box method, like I told you earlier, the first thing you're going to do is draw the box, as you can see now. You draw the box now on the screen the animal we are trying to formulate feed for the nutritional requirement of the target animal is 14 that is 14 percent so you are going to put that 14 cp at the center of the box then draw this arrow as you can see on the screen just draw this arrow then you're going to pick uh here now uh your first ingredient being the iscp the one that i have iscp you're going to put it at the top here. So in my own case study here, I, I, I use soya beans meal. Soya bean meal, that's the SBM, 45 CP. Are you getting it now? Then I also use corn. Those are, now, if you remember in the definition of bus method, I told you that we can use two or more feed ingredients to formulate a balanced feed. Uh, so in this example, I'm using only two feed ingredients. I'm using SBM, which is 45 percent CP as well as corn which is 10 percent CP to formulate my feed now what I'm going to do is that instead of subtracting corn from uh, SBM directly we are going to because we are producing feed for this animal which require 14 uh, 14 percent as a nutrient requirement so I'm going to what I'm going to do first is I'm going to subtract this 45 from 14 are you getting enough so um, if you take 14 away from 45, you still have 31. That's it. Now, when you take uh, 10 away from 14, now this is exactly what I'm saying in the other time that you need to ignore the negative. Now, subtract 10 from, uh, subtract 14 from 10, you will have minus 4. This is not 4. This is minus 4 because you are, don't forget, you are subtracting this, the nutritional requirement from the, uh, Good protein of your feed ingredient. Good protein is what I mean by CP. As you can see now, taking 14 away from 45, we have 31. Now, if you have to take 14 away from 10, which is impossible, we are still going to have minus 4. Put that minus 4 there and see how we're going to be using it as we move on. Please, I don't want us to do any error here. Now, as you can see, so I've simply removed, I've ignored that negative sign. So where I have, after do this, done through with the suppression in my first slide, now I have this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 4 plus 31 to give me 35. That is 35% now. All this thing we have been doing is still what in percentage. And mind you, we always have our feedback in kilogram, not in percentage. So how do you convert percentage now to kilogram? This is what we call formulation. This is where we now starting the formulation. All this one, you're just subtracting and adding. Are you getting a very simple arithmetic? If you forget, let me remind you from here. What we are going to do is uh, you're going to write 
at the top at the top here at the top of your boss at the left hand side the top of your boss you're going to write the free degree then the available free degree then of icp are you getting now so in my own case study i have sbm so you have beans meal which is 45 cp now at the bottom here you're going to put the one at very low cp that is now let me put it in this way that you're going to understand hmm. um our target animal the nutrition requirement of our target animal is 14. now if you are going to be using two feed ingredients you must have the one that is higher that is one feed ingredient must have higher cp than the nutritional requirement of the target animal why the other feed ingredient must have a lower cp than the nutritional requirement that's how i can put it in a very simple format that you are going to understand are you getting it now so that is when we are using box method to formulate feed now the center number which is the nutrition requirement of our target animal then we must if, if we are going to be using two feed ingredients one must be higher than the required nutrient that is than the uh, target animal why the other one must be lower that is if you are using 40, 45 you must not take 35 again because 35 is still higher than now 14 so you must take the cp any feed ingredient that has a very cp lower than the target animal so that's how it works now another thing to pay attention to when you are using box stored is when you separate uh, 14 from 45 you will write your answer down here not at the top you write it down you can see how i uh, the way i structure my box that's how you're going to structure yours too you, that is the value of 45 cp the value of 14 cp from 45 cp will go down here making it to be 31 why the value of 14 from 10 cp will go up here now automatically this value this 4 sbm will be assigned to the one at the top why the 31 here will be assigned to the cone that's why it normally happens in both method and this is the perfect way of formulating uh feed formulation when you are using post method just pay attention to this if you are watching this video now and you still don't get what i'm saying here you can ask me any question below this video or better still you can use my facebook id i will show it to you later as we move on so you ask me any question please if you are getting confused or you can see um ask me or watch this video again what i'm trying to say here is after you meant done or true with the separation, you taking a uh, 14 from 10, write the answer here, negative 4. But remember the rule says you should just ignore the ne negative value. So you do that. Now you take 14 from 45. Now when you are trying to write down your answer, please, when you just take 14 from 45, do not write your answer at the very top. Eh? Write it down here remember everything we are doing will be going diagonally that is it goes like this and also like this please pay attention to that so that you will not be taking the value of corn for soya beans meal and the value of soya beans meal for corn and vice versa the reason i make it so simple like this using two feet because when we're trying to use like two uh, like three or more feet we might be getting confused so that's why i want us to use these two examples uh, use this uh, feed ingredient as an example and life case study in this video so that was it now as i did that this 35 uh we, we are not true yet with this uh formula we are not true yet because all this answer this 35 we get there will still be in cp that is in percentage um remember feed are not bad in percentage they are bad in kilogram so how do you convert uh this value to kilogram so let's see how that works in next slide now this is how it happens now initially we have the value of sbm that is so you have to be four and value of corn to be 31 now to convert this to perfect this is what we are going to have now we are going to divide we are going to place 4 over 35 multiplied by 100 this now will be the value of soya beans mean in our production that is 11.43 percent 
we are seeing other percent here just be looking at how i'm doing it please pay attention to the you can rewatch this video over and over again hey. 4 over 35 multiplied by 100 will give us 11.45 percent this 11.43 percent is the value of sbm now you also do the same thing to the other feed ingredient now on my own here i have come this is 31 over three, that is 31 divided by uh, 31 divided by 35 multiplied by 100 will give us 888.57 percent which is be the value of comb still they are still in percentage are you getting about you want to convert it to kilogram so how do you now convert them to kilogram now this is what you're going to do you will now take this value over 100 multiply by the kilogram of feed you want to produce now this is how it's happen now let me assume that i want to formulate feed and i want to produce a 25 bag of feed but now i've arrived at this point 11.43 for my sbm sorry 88.54 percent for my corn now i want to produce feed of a bag of 25 kilogram this is what i'm going to do i'm just now the value of sbm will now be 11.43 over 100 multiplied by 25 kilogram Maybe I should just repeat that step again so that you can get it. What we have been doing since from this part is uh, we converting this into right proportion. That is to know the amount of SBM that will be in my feed, the amount of corn that will be in my feed. Now, for us to gain this, the number one thing we are going to do is we must know the target, the nutritional requirement of it, our target animal, which is 14. We must also know the, the feed ingredient available. Now, the feed ingredient available in my custody right now is soya beans meal as well as corn. And these are the two ingredients I want to use to formulate feed of 25 kilograms for my target animal. So what I'm going to do is I want to use in a very fast method, I want to use box method to produce 25 kilogram for this target animal, which um, is nutritional requirement is 14 CP. Now, the CP for SBM is 45. The CP for corn is um, 10. Now, I'm going to write my SBM at the very top of my box here, corn at the, down at the bottom of my boss here why are we have my nutritional requirement of my target animal at the center now i will take to start my formulation now i will take 14 from 45 i will have my resource down here which is 35 now also i will take 14 from 10 i will have a negative four here but because the rules allow me to ignore the negative sign and to have the total value of my um feed the union all i will do is i will take away the negative sign then four i will now add four plus 31 to get 35 that is all everything i'll be doing is still in proportion that is in percentage not in kilogram and since um feed are not measured in kilo in percentage rather so i need to convert each of these um sbm as well as corn to kilogram so i will know the value that i'm going to measure for my sbm and the value that i'm going to measure for my corn in kilogram that is exactly what i'm doing now in order to achieve that all i have to do now is just to go here take 4 over 35 multiply it by 100 which gives me 11.43 percent also all i have to do is take the value of corn 31 over 35 that is this is the value of corn 31 over total value of my feed ingredients are you getting now now what i'm doing here to convert it to kilogram is still i need to know the proportion size of sbm that is exactly what i'm doing as well as corn so 31 over 35 multiplied by 100 will give me 88.54 percent now remember they are still in percentage now, if I really want to convert it now into the kilogram, this is where, I'm, okay, I want to produce this feed in what? 25 kilogram bag. 
50 kilogram bag okay let's see how to go to convert it now all i have to do is go over here now i will now take the value of sbm 11.43 over 100 multiply by the number of bag you wish to produce if you are to produce 50 kilogram you substitute this 25 for what 50 so we're going to have 11.43 over 100 multiplied by the number of bags that you want to produce that is 25 kilogram if you do the same thing to come 88.57 over 100 multiplied by 25 kilogram now those will be the final stop now i'm very sure if you had 2.86 plus 22.14 together it's going to give us 25 kilogram if truly we achieve this 25 kilogram in our final calculation that means everything we have been doing since morning is perfect now to check that out let me see how it works first let me bring out my calculator so as you can see on the screen now let's add it together 2.86 plus um 22.1 um, sorry, um, that's two two dot um one four. Wow, that's perfect. That means everything we have been doing this morning is very perfect. So now, if you want to measure this thing in fifty kilogram as well, all you need to do is take away this twenty five and add fifty. That is, you substitute fifty for twenty five. That is how it happens. So that's far as a um, box method works. And I'm not, this is the accurate method, the easiest and the simplest method you can use to formulate feed uh, for your livestock using two ingredients. You can also use more than two ingredients. So how do you use more than two ingredients to formulate? Are you getting it now? Now, how do you use two or like three for another thing to add more feed materials? to your uh, feed ingredient to form a balanced uh, balance diet using this boss method and even how do you use um trial and error method to also formulate feed these are the things that you need to know that's why i'm recommending this course for you um you can access this this course i'm the one that produced this course life to feed academy it it teaches you everything you need to produce any balanced feed for any type of animal it covers everything about feed formulation and production and you can access it using the formula uh, using the link below that is b.ly forward slash feed formula you can use this uh, this link to get and what i'm doing is due to the a uh, lot of people asking me to bring it down for them you know you've been paying ten thousand naira to buy a bag of feed yes I know uh, if you want to buy copain now if you want to buy duratin you know how much you spend by bag now if you can use uh, this training i'm very sure you are not only going to gain you also learn you've already know the trade secret of the major successful farmer uh, farming and farming farms in this country even in the entire west africa most of the farmer now now believe that the only way out to solve the issue of uh, this lifestyle farming is to go on local so if you can have this course i'm just recommending it if, if you can have this course with you i'm very sure apart from the fact that you are going to know more about feed formulation um i gonna work for you what are the things you need to combine uh, we don't say this course alone we've already written there is a, uh, already written formula there for you all you just have to do is copy out this formula and use it for your life talk and it will work because these are the things we are using yes so we have this course we have them in soft copy as well as in night copy presently now as i'm producing this video the ad copy is twelve thousand era while the soft copy is seven thousand era but what i'm trying to do is i want to bring it down totally for everyone to have access for you to learn how this thing works so you can also implement it in into your own business just let let even think about one thing what if um federal government stop 
importation of foreign fees into this country today what will happen are we going to stop livestock farming no i'm just asking don't say it can't be possible and it's if they can stop um, some importation of some other items there's nothing wrong are you getting now what if they just stop it now so that's why you need to learn this course even apart from stopping or not stopping it helps your business yes it makes you to it reduce money like seriously in terms of production and as well it increases your profit because instead of spending something like between eight thousand nine thousand ten thousand naira to buy a bag of feed i must say you might not really spend more than three thousand five hundred to four thousand naira this is not that uh yes saying is what i'm practicing yes and if you know you want to come live feel free you will see my address uh, at the bottom of this video now for the most of the, so i'm recommending that course for you so what are you going to learn if you order that course today just let me bring it for you this is it um if you click on that link from here if you just type this in now on your browser either you are using mobile phone or laptop whatever whatever to fill this if you just type http this or if you just ignore all this http of a thing you can just type bit.ly forward slash feed formula now it will take you to this page now from here are you interested in working with me to show you how to improve your livestock farming business and system i'm just asking you a question if you're ready to work with me let me teach you how you can use this formula to make a lot of profit in your business yes i'm very sure of what i'm saying um this is a very new you don't have to go bank of a draft before you can feed your livestock it doesn't have to be like that so that this is second edition of this book i'm very sure a lot of people have been getting it and to my surprise a lot of comments i've been pulling down yes people have been giving testimony people have been so happy that they lay their hands on this code which i'm very very sure that if it's you too you hold up for it today um you're going to benefit from it a lot now here are the content of the training introduction to livestock feed academy then in this module we talk about feed formulation and companion what is it really so apart from what is it then we have the same local feed formulation you will understand what it is then why are they very important to livestock farming i just brought uh, i gave you the view of the importance of it the other time introduction to all the materials needed and many more then in the chapter two which i refer to as module two here feed and their nutritional requirements now instead of you uh it's in your head against the wall looking for the nutritional requirement of the feed and the target animal we have everything listed for you are you looking for the broiler starter is um layers match whatever whatever catfish juveniles and adult fishes pig snail every everything we have them listed in that book for you so that's why i say this is just it's it just like a giveaway for you if you can just lay your hands on it and get just like a giveaway i'm telling you then important materials needed you also then formulation and companion this is where we talk about the the procedures that is the method then you will see more way on how you can use um box method and trial method their benefit and which one is even more preferred that you can use now this is the, the soup of it where we just add salt and maggi to the soup of this food approved food formula for any livestock you might be looking for we have them them here so all you just have to do is you can write down this address or the one i gave to you over here so you can write down this one and i'm very sure it, this will take you to that page you read everything but as i'm talking to you right now uh, today is 7 february 2014 um if you lay your if you are watching this video in the month of february um this is month of love what i'm doing is instead of you getting the soft copy at the rate of seven thousand i'm giving it out at the rate of four thousand naira. that's what i'm doing yes ignore the price here and pay four thousand naira into that back account you will see everything you need just go to this page and read more about it so that is now most of people do ask me they want to add me as friend on facebook if there is anything you want to know more about me all you just have to do is look at this name very clearly 
add burst then decimal then someone asked me today that what is the meaning of this uh, decimal of a thing see when i open this page i open it for a business and nothing more for business i wouldn't like if you are a friend of mine on this you already know what i'm talking about i have i created this page for business where i teach people about anything related to a Greek business and here on this page i do interview a lot of successful agribusiness owner where we learn we do things more like a family here yeah? so it's not like that maybe when you join us we started believing you that you must buy our products no it's not necessary but we only give you a product that will not only improve your skills but will also make you money at the end of the day so now the choice is yours feel free to add me as friend but one thing is if you want to add me i am a very strict guy I'm very sorry to say that. Not that I'm pompous, but since this page is for business, I only have people who are very serious with the business. So if you are not serious, please don't just you can look for my other handles. You can look for my Adewali Adimiluyu, which is my family account. There you will see my wife, my children, where we make jokes ahead. That is if you want to be talking about politics and all those things. But if you want to be talking about discussing about business only, then please you can hide me here please uh not that i'm purpose like i said please now you want to see my face let me bring it down a little bit so that you can see my face <laughs> don't mind me <laughs> i'm a very young guy yeah i'm a very young guy i thank god for that i'm a very young guy so th that's just it about this video we've been talking about um feed formulation so far and i'm very sure to gain one or two things from this video you cannot you cannot see how on farm or local feed formulation can seriously help your business why don't you just put it into action today why don't you just start using this today a lot of big farms have been using it yes i must tell you most of those successful farmers this is what they are using because i travel most most of the time i ask them i interview most of these people they tell me their secrets but they will never tell you as in this because i have most of these people on my website i interview them at times in video at times in mp3 I interview them and I publish everything on my website. If you add me as friend, you will have access to everything. And some of these people we are talking about. So, like I said, go ahead and lay your hands on Laptop Feed Academy at the rate of 4,000 naira for the stock copy. I'm very sure you are going to enjoy it to the least. Thank you for watching. I remain your man, Adiwali Ademilui. God bless you.